Oh, come on in. Come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. I'm going to wait for Facebook to build me an audience, baby. Come on in. This message is about to bless a lot of people right now. This message is about to give a lot of people uh, clarity. This message, people of God, watch this, is about to give you insight on why people always got a problem with you. I need you to begin to hit tag and share. Come on, people of God. I need y'all to push right now. I decree and declare that eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what God is getting ready to do in you, the one that's watching this video. Come on, I need y'all to tag and share like never before. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. People of God, I need y'all to push on tonight. <clears throat> come on in. Come on in. Tonight's message, I was a little settled. I was talking a little, you know, softer. But baby, tonight, this thing got to be preached. It got to be spoken. It got to be said. I need to give knowledge and clarity. I need to address a few issues, a few people, a few things. So tonight, baby, you're going to get wisdom. You're going to get clarity. You're going to get realness. And you might be like, you know what, evangelist? This was the message for me. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on, come on, come on. I need y'all to get tagged and share. <coughs> come on in, people of God. Tarice, give me some ice water real quick. <coughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Push a little bit. Push a little bit. Tag and share. I'm here. Come here. Come on in, baby. Come on in. If you are just now tuning in, tonight's message is either way. They ain't going to like you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's not by coincidence that you are on here. I need you to come in tagging and sharing. Let's get all of our hellos. How you doing? Where you been? Where you been at? All of that out of the way. And I need you to tag 15 people. Come on. Tag 15 people you love, 15 people you care about. Sit on the dress, baby. 15 people that you want to motivate right now. Come on in. 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 I need y'all to push a little bit. It's a Saturday night. So people tied up. People doing whatever they need to do. But baby, listen, you ought to tag somebody on tonight. Shout out to you, Minnie Dortley, for coming in, tagging and sharing. I love you too, Angie. But if you love me, could you tag and share? Come on, Kiki, thank you for pushing. Come on, Asia, thank you for pushing. Come on, I need y'all to tag and share right now. I need you to tag and share right now. Come on, it's going. this live is going to upset a lot of people. But y'all already know I don't care nothing about it. Come on, I need y'all to push very quickly, people of God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, push a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. I decree and declare that watch this after tonight, every person with a secretive problem, every person who got something against you for no reason at all, every person who watched this feeling some type of way um, in their feelings just because you favored by God or in their feelings because you want to do something with your life. Come on, I need you to push a little bit, people of God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God, I feel God already. I'm ready to get started. I'm ready to get started. But people who've been following me on Facebook already know that I'm not going to release until I feel like everybody is on here who's supposed to be on here. You want to know what tonight's topic is? Tonight's topic, people of God, is either way they're not going to like you. Come on, I need y'all to tag and share. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I need you to tag and share. I need you to tag and share. I need everybody who watched this, got secretive haters, to tag and share. Come on, Gabrielle, God bless you for tagging and sharing. Shauna, God bless you for tagging and sharing. Priscilla, God bless you for tagging and sharing. Come on, I see a few people on here who follow me who already know how I go, but I don't see you tagging and sharing. Tamiko, how you doing, baby? Could you tag and share? Rika, blessings on you for tagging and sharing. Come on, people of God, I need y'all to push. I need y'all to push. I need y'all to push. I need y'all to push right now. Come on. Eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard what God wants to do into in, in you and through you. The one that's watching this video on tonight. Come on. I see my help coming in. Latoya, how are you? Thank you for tagging and sharing. Come on. I need y'all to push just a little bit, people of God, on tonight. I need you to push a little bit, people of God, on tonight. It's a Saturday night. So it take a little bit because you know people are headed out and people going to do their thing and they're going to move the way they move. But if you would just allow me to pour into you before you go about your day. Sasha, this message is for you. Isaac, this message is for, um, for you. Arthur Janae Thomas, this message is for you. Come on, come on. I need y'all to push a little bit, people of God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. When I move, you move just like that. It's about to be a bunch of upset people as you begin to share this. 
on your timeline, you about to see why you always the topic of everybody conversation, even when you are not in the room. Come on, just another 120 more seconds and I'm going to go ahead and release. Come on, I need you to push. Let me give some shout outs to some obedient people right now. Come on, come on. I see my cousin Victoria is on. Renee, I want you to pay attention because this message is for you. Tonight's message, if you are just now tuning in, is either way, they're not going to like you. There are so many of us people of God that are people pleasers. We just want to get along with everybody. We want to know why everybody got a problem. We want to know what we did to people. We want to know why people crossed us. We want to know this. We want to know that. So tonight, I'm going to give you the answer. Blessings on you for tagging and sharing, Adrian. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is about to get deep, but we can't get started. Come on, I need y'all to push. Push a little bit for me. Come on, push a little bit for me. This is going to require a few tags and shares on tonight. Why? Because it's getting ready to go all the way down. People of God, I need you to push a little bit. Come on, just a little bit. 60 more seconds. Could I just have 60 more seconds of your time before I get uh, started on tonight? People of God, oh, Jesus, when God gave me this topic, I'm like, oh God, some people feelings about to get hurt. Some people about, watch this. When you hit share and tag this to your page, people going to swear you talking about them. And watch this. It's always the people that got secret motives. In the background, it's always the people, watch this, that been talking about you behind your back and smiling in your face, thinking you stuck on stupid, that's going to have a problem with this life. But it's okay, we're going we, we to ruffle a few feathers on tonight, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. If I can continue to have you to tag and share, everybody who have not tagged 15 people, I need you to take the time to tag and share, but I'm getting ready to go in. I need you to tag and share. But I need you to pay attention on tonight. Watch this, people of God. I ain't got a problem with nobody. Jesus. I got to break this thing all the way down on tonight. I got to dissect this thing on tonight. Are you a person who, watch this, you don't like being connected to drama. You don't want to be connected to gossip. You just want to love on everybody. You try to help everybody. You try to uh, be there for everybody. You want to open doors for everybody. <clears throat> you real life ain't got a problem with nobody. But it seems like trouble always seems to run you down. If this is you, I'm talking to you on tonight. Tonight's message, people of God, is either way, they ain't going to like you. Either way, they ain't going to like you. I, I want you to comment that down to the bottom very quickly. Either way, they ain't going to like me. Either way, they ain't going to like me. I got to give you knowledge and wisdom on tonight because you're too busy trying to figure out why you ain't got the same circle as you used to have a week ago. Jesus, you too busy trying to figure out why the phone calls stop coming. You ain't getting a phone call or y'all ain't talking unless it's you the one dialing the number. I'm going to ruffle some feathers on tonight. You you trying to figure out why at one point y'all was cool, y'all was hanging out, everything was all gravy, and then all of a sudden, baby, it's a problem. You trying to figure out why you get around them and it's this mm, kind of nasty feeling in your spirit all of a sudden for no reason at all. This message is for you. This message is for people. Do you get what I'm saying on tonight? This is not a message for people who kumbaya get along with everybody. This message is for people who don't mind saying, I don't want a problem, but it seems like you keep poking the bear. I want everybody to comment below. You've been poking the bear. You've been poking the bear, baby. I don't know who this message is for, but baby, I'm talking to some people who watch this and their spirit is like, I've been trying to do right. I, I've been trying to keep my hands to myself, but sometimes they shake a little bit because you be acting out of line and I be wanting to lay hands on you in the spiritual realm. This message is for people who I'm trying to serve God and keep my cool at the same time because I can't afford another mug shot, but you keep poking at this bear. I'm talking to some people on tonight that say, I want to do right and I don't want you to wake up the old me, baby. But you keep poking this bear. I'm talking to some people on tonight. Jesus Christ, I feel God. Who don't mind saying, watch this. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to not go back to the old me, but I ain't no killer. But don't, don't push me. You, you poking me and you pushing me to that limit. If this message is for you on tonight, tonight's topic, people of God, is 
Either way, they ain't going to like you. Either either way, they ain't going to like you. Either way, they're going to always have a problem. Either way, they're going to always have something to say. Either way, they're going to always be in their feelings. Either way, watch this. Your name going to continuously be in their mouth. Either way, they don't have a problem. Why? Because you're anointed to do this. I want everybody to comment below. I'm anointed to do this. Pretty diamond, this message is for you. Come on, I'm anointed to do this. Y'all better catch this in the spiritual realm on the night. This message is for you, Sasha. This message is for you, Prophetess Natasha. Let me give you insight on why you can be there for everybody else. You can always give an uplifting word. You can always be encouraging. But you can't get nobody to support you. Either way. They ain't going to like you. Tonight's message, if you are just now tuning in, baby, it's not by coincidence that it's a weekend night and you on this live. This message is for you, the one that's watching this video. Either way, they ain't going to like you. And God is saying the reason being is because you're anointed. Watch this. People will always have a problem. I need you to comment below. What's the problem? What's the, baby, what's the problem? What's the problem? You keep poking at me. What's the problem? I'm, a, I'm, I'm trying to stay calm, but you keep waking up the old me, baby. What's the problem? Have you ever been in a situation where you like, what's the problem? I'm trying to let it go, but you keep doing things. I'm trying to forget it ever happened, but you keep breaking it up. I'm trying not to let out that, that nasty side of me. You ain't really seen yet, but you keep poking at this bear. Tonight's message, if you are just now tuning in, is either way, they ain't going to like you. They, gonna, they ain't going to like you. They're going to they gonna want to fight you. They're going to get, get you. you Jesus. It's going to always be a problem because you anointed to do this, Latavia. Watch this. And the reason being, God is saying, because your success upsets their spirit. Whoa. God, I felt God right there. The reason they're going to talk about you either way, whether you're doing good or bad. I, hold on. Let me get a little close. Let me get a little close because somebody was just on their way to bust out somebody's windows or you were just on your way to get some straightening. You was just getting ready to pick up your phone and say you ain't nothing to play with. You was just getting ready to post an indirect Facebook status and maybe even tag their name in it to let them know you might want to back up because you messing with the wrong one. But God is saying you ain't got to do that in this season. I'm going to give you the reason why. If you just hold on a minute, I'm about to break this thing down. If you just hold on a minute, can I just have everybody tag three people really quick? Three, three people really quick. Just tag three people. Three people that you care about. Because if you're going through, baby, some people connected to you going through. Why? Because watch this. When I move, you move just like that. Birds of a feather, they flock together. You better get what I'm saying. The night's topic, <coughs> if you are just now tuning in, is either way, they ain't going to like you. And God told me to come and tell you, the one that's watching this video, the reason they're not going to like you. In this season, people of God, is because you're a success upsets their spirit. I want somebody to comment below. I'm successful. See, sometimes you got to prophesy over yourself. Sometimes you got to touch yourself and say, I'm, baby, I'm a whole bag of chips. I'm a, I'm a boss, baby. You got a problem because I'm successful. You got a problem because I came up out of the circle where we was all sitting there broke. You got a problem because I decided to step out and write that book. You got a problem because I decided to step out and get my decree. You got a problem because I decided to move me and my kids up out the hood, baby. Now it's a problem because I want to be successful. It's a problem because I'm dreaming big. It's a problem because I don't want to go out hoeing with you no more. I'm trying to become somebody's wife. Oh, Jesus, I don't know who that is for, but they, they got a problem because you want better for your, yourself. I dare somebody to come and blow. I want better for me. I want, I want better for me. And because I got a, I, I want better for me because I'm successful, because I'm making better choices. Either way, they ain't going to like you. This message is for you, Delisa. Either way. They ain't going to, they ain't going to like you. And as God began to give this to me, I said, God, you know, on tonight, it's, it, I, I, oh Jesus. I said, God, I need you to wake up everybody who need this message. Because watch this, there's so many people sitting behind bars because they put a bullet in a person's head. They couldn't watch this stand instead of giving that thing to God. So tonight, before you make the wrong decision, tonight, before you pick up that phone and snap, tonight, before you go and show that person you ain't nothing to play with, tonight, before you go back to the old you, you are already buried let me give you insight on what it is you need to do 
If you are just now tuning in tonight's messages, either way, they ain't going to like you. And God said it's because of your success, your success. It upsets their spirit. This is why people of God, when you give them good news, they don't clap. Jesus, I just heard the Holy Ghost say, it's not the people who watch this. Don't clap when you win. You need to watch this season. You need to watch the people who clapping and smiling in your face. I dare somebody to comment below, clap on. I want to see some clapping emojis. Baby, clap on. Just because you clapping, I don't trust you in this season because wolves be behind sheep clothing. Just because you clapping for me in my face, baby, I know behind my back you got a problem with my success. God said, in this season, stop trying to watch the people who don't clap when you win, but watch out for the ones who clap and watch this for your success. Why? Because your success upsets their spirit. Either way, they ain't going to like you. Whether you're doing good or bad, sis, they're going to have a problem. Bro, whether you, you're doing good or bad, whether you're stepping up or you're slipping back, they're going to always have a problem. He said, because this season you are in now, no one is exempt. I need everybody to talk that. I'm going to wait because I need to make sure you walking with me right now. I'm going to wait because I need to make sure you feeling a G right now. I'm going to wait because I need to give you wisdom right now. I'm going to wait because I need to give you free game right now. God said this season you are in. No one is exempt, baby. Not baby daddy. Not baby mama. Not husband. Not wife. Not your homegirls. Not people who call you bro and sis. Not people you sit in church with. No one is exempt. Why? Because sugar look like salt, but they taste different. Why? Because everybody who say they for you ain't for you. Why? Because in this season, God is exposing the snakes. Why? Because this, se this season, you got to have 2020 vision. Why? Because the enemy ain't playing fair. Either way, they ain't going to like you. This season, you are in no one is exempt. Come on, I need you to type that in. E-X-E-M-P-T. No one is exempt. Some of y'all need to put that in capital letters. Baby, I don't care how long we've been friends. Could I trust you? I don't care because we got the same last name. Baby, could I trust you? I don't care because you come to me saying God said. Could I trust you? I don't care, baby, because we be in praise and worship together. Baby, can I trust you? I don't care because I hired you um, to work for my business. Could I trust you? I don't care if you making love to me every night. Could I trust you? This season I'm in is so sensitive to where no one is exempt. Some of you might not know the definition of exempt, so let me give it to you. It says free or released from liability. Nah, baby, no one ain't exempt. I can't count you out. It says, watch this, exempt is to allow a person not to be affected by a rule. We are in a season where no one is exempt. Baby, no one is counted out. No one is spared. No one, no one is, is free from, baby. I ain't sparing nobody 2022. I need somebody to comment that below. Baby, all 22, I ain't, all 2022, I ain't sparing nobody. Why? Because people sneaky. Why? Because people full of it. God told me to come and tell you the one that's watching this video. Baby, either way, they ain't going to like you. You are too busy trying to figure out what you did to a person. What for? Some of y'all go to sleep and wake up and your relationship ain't never been the same. You trying to figure out, dang, what I did to you. Since you ain't do nothing, he just over there blinded by her. Could I keep it real with you? You too busy trying to figure out what did you do wrong to cause the relationship to go wrong? Nothing. Could I have some honest people to put there in capital letters? If I'm talking about you right now, put nothing there in capital letters. You ain't do nothing wrong. You played your part. How the song song? What how the song go? Baby, listen. How the song go? Early in the morning, I put breakfast at your table and make sure that your coffee had its sugary. How the song go? I'm not your superwoman. Y'all done sat here and been superwoman, ironing clothes, cooking, cleaning, doing everything you can do, and all of a sudden they beating you mad every day. You ain't did nothing wrong. It's just looking like the grass greener on the other side.
But God is saying either way, they ain't going to like you. So you got to pay attention. No one is exempt. The enemy is after your mental peace. You better get what I'm saying to you. The enemy is trying to take you out. Baby, what you coming home angry for? Why are you upset? I'm the same woman I was three years ago when you was crazy about me. Now all of a sudden you taking all your anger out on me. Baby, what's the problem? I just need somebody to comment below what's the problem. Some of you, it may be your first time on my page. I'm Dr. Shakira McFadden. I'm a minister. I preach and teach the gossip, but I'm a little bit different with it. Baby, I'm real and everything like that. Sometimes we need realness, not just the word, but we need realness. So I'm going to tell you about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but I'm going to talk about what's really going on today too. Either way, they ain't going to like you. Now, now, sis know about you. Sis okay with being the second woman, the other woman. Sis know about you and now your man, your soulmate, <laughs> the person you done had kids for, the person you been supporting, you done rolled with, bruh, baby, through his hard times. When he was making them collect calls saying when he get out, he want to marry you. Oh, I been there. Baby, I was putting them commissary packets in freely. Now you out. You dealing with somebody else. And you and her teaming up against me. I don't know who this is for. But baby, I know it's reality. God say either way, they ain't going to like you. It's going to be a problem either way. But you know how you kill them? You kill them with your success. I want everybody to comment below. I'm murdering the scene all 2022. I'm murdering the scene. Every time I step on the scene, I'm going to murder that thing all 2022. Why? Because I'm going to kill people with my success. It's like no one is exempt in this season. Why? Because every time you exempt somebody out, every time you count somebody out, every time you spare somebody, you always get hurt. I need everybody to comment below. I always get hurt. I, I always get hurt every time I let my walls down. I always get hurt every time I decide to trust again. I always get hurt every time I love again. I always get hurt every time I, I allow people to get close to me. I always get hurt. And God is saying, you the one that's watching this video. Either way, they ain't going to like you. God will expose the snakes around you. I, I Let me, hold on. Before I say this, let me get a little closer. What I'm about to say, I'm talking to you. Yes, you, you the one that's watching this video, baby, I'm talking to you. What I'm about to say next, I need you to pay attention. I need you to pay attention to what I'm about to say next. If you ain't paying attention to nothing I've been saying the last few minutes, if you are just now tuning in, tonight's messages, either way, they ain't gonna like you. I need you to pay attention right now, right? No one is exempt in 2022 in pertaining to you. Why? Because God has been showing you things and you've been hard-headed, not paying attention. Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. You've been trying to overlook it because you love them. You've been trying to act like you don't feel that thing in your spirit because you expect better out of them. God will expose the snakes around you and you still end up getting bit. How? Let me back that up. Beep, beep, beep. God will expose the snakes around you and you still end up getting bit. How? How is he showing you this person a snake, but they still able to get close enough to you to put venom in you? I can scream. I can scream. Can I just keep it real with some people who've been blinded, who, who've been bit, who've been acting like they ain't know a snake is up under them? How is God exposing the snakes around you and you still end up getting bit? How are they still able to get that close to you? How? How he, he will show you the wolves in sheep clothing, yet you stick around to be devoured. He will show you the wolves around you in sheep clothing, yet you still stick around to be devoured. How is that possible? If I'm talking to you, you ought to comment below. I don't know. I don't know. I need some honest people on here on tonight. If you bougie, jump up off my line. If you acting like ain't nobody <coughs> crossed you ever, crossed you or done nothing to you, please exit this post. I'm talking to some honest people on tonight that don't mind saying I've been letting the wrong people get close to me. That don't mind saying I've been opening my home to snakes. That don't mind saying I've been allowing wolves in my circle. I'm, I'm talking to some real people on tonight. 
God told me to come and tell you, the one that's watching this video, that either way they're going to have a problem with you. I'm going to show you why. Your success upsets their spirit. But not only that, people of God, watch this. You have become, watch this. Because we are in the month of July, we're in the month of July. Watch this. We are halfway through 2022. Because we are in the month of July, you are almost, do you hear what I'm saying? The end of the year, by the end of the year, let me stop. Can I prophesy over you? Very quickly, I'm going to ask your permission because watch this before you receive something in your heart, you got to be, you got to feel that thing in your heart. You got to believe it's coming from God. So if I can prophesy over you, the one that's watching this video, I just want you to comment below prophesy. I'm away. I'm away because I don't just want to speak something over a person who ain't going to accept it because I'm about to say something crucial. Come on. I'm away. Can I prophesy over you? Can I speak into your life? Can I shift your atmosphere? Can I change your situation? Can I dispatch angels to where you are right now? Come on. I, I just want you to comment below prophesy. That let me know that you're receiving what I'm about to say in your spirit. I'm going to ask for permission. Too many people have been prophesying over your life and laying hands on you and putting a prophetic word in your life. Watch this without your permission. So let me ask. Let me ask you. Can I prophesy? Over you. Come on. I want you to comment below. Prophesy. We are halfway through 2022. We're in the month of July. We are, we are halfway at the breaking point. For the ones who gave me permission to prophesy over their life. I'm about to prophesy something to you right now. And all you got to do is receive it. Watch this. I decree and declare that before 2022 is out. Before this year is out. You will no longer prolong being a homeowner, you shall become low. Come on. You will no longer have the desire to be a wife or a husband. You shall become one. You will no longer yearn to, to have your own child. You shall become pregnant. You will no longer yearn to have your body healed. You shall be healed. You will no longer yearn to start that business. The business shall come forth. You will no longer yearn to live check to check or to continuously struggle. Watch this unexpected finances shake hit. You will no longer, people of God, watch this battle that case it shall be dismissed in the name of jesus come on you got to receive it you got to come in below receive it i receive it i receive it you shall no longer watch this have to fight back for your relationship god will open their eyes so they can see that you are for them and he will mend the thing you shall no longer go through this custody battle for your kids your children shall re return home watch this people of god now that i prophetically put that in the atmosphere God said that because you are halfway through the mark, watch this, your ending mark is 2022. You need God to do this for you. I decree and declare, Shamika Miller, that before this year is out, the killer of your daughter, you shall find out what truly happened to your daughter before this year is out. The detectives should have more information before this year is out. All you got to do is receive it. Watch this. I decree and declare pretty diamond that before this year is out watch this you will need to hire people like never before because your dispatching business should take off i decree declare right now sasha that that weight loss company would not be your only income but you should have multiple streams of income latavia i decree and declare that before this year is out you should walk into the full calling of god on your life like never before women shall be saved and set free from loss of their children because you will tell them how to mentally overcome. I decree and declare that before this year is out, Shay Reddit, watch this, you shall lack nothing. You shall take, watch this, any and everything you desire to do in the nursing field or in any field to a whole nother level in the name of Jesus. Delisa, before this year is out, Queen, I decree and declare that God will switch your circle and put you around millionaires who can pull you up on another level. Leah, before this year is out, baby, the way you and your husband going to fall in love with each other all over again, it's going to be, oh God, I don't know why God shipped me this way. It's going to be mind blowing like never before. Arthur Janae Thomas, you shall lack nothing financially in this. All you got to do is say, I receive it in this season. I receive it. Tonight's message, if you are just now tuning in, I decree it. 
I decree it, Shanita. I decree it, Shanita. God working it out. Before this year is out, Daisy, a different level of peace. Another level of anointing in your relationship. I decree, oh Jesus, before this year is out, you shall say, yes. Yes, yes to the ring. I, I put that in the atmosphere. Yes to a different level of peace. No interruptions. I put it in the atmosphere. You ought to comment below, I receive it. You ought to comment below, I receive it. In the name of Jesus, if you are just now tuning in tonight's messages, either way, they won't like you. So because you are halfway at the breaking point, people of God, because you are at the a breaking point, 2022, you should have everything you prayed for. Because you are halfway there, we're in the month of July. Watch this. You have became a magnet for messiness. Sometimes people think because you are halfway there that everything is going to be peaches and cream. No, baby, you became a magnet for messiness. Why? Because your success threatens your haters' spirit. Your success, it interrupts their spirit. So you became a magnet for messiness. People going to be messy to you for no reason. People going to be messy at you, or, or be, you know, messy towards you for no reason at all. They ain't got to even know it. You became a magnet for messiness because you are at the halfway mark of your success. You became a magnet for murderers, people who are going to murder you in the spiritual realm, people who are going to be burning candles, people who are going to be paying the voodoo lady to put witchcraft on you, people who are going to be wishing death on you, people who are going to be playing with black magic and white magic on you. You became a magnet for murderers the minute you became God's favorite. Do you get what I'm saying? You, you're going to be a magnet for malicious people. No reason at all. People trying to destroy your character. Why? Because God is getting ready to do something amazing in you. This is why whether you're doing good or you're doing bad, baby, either way, they ain't going to like you. Somebody ought to comment below. Either way, they ain't going to like me. I should see some shoulder shrug emojis. Oh, well. Oh, well. Either way, they're going to have a problem. Either way, it's going to be a problem. Just because God favors you. He favors you, the one that's watching this video. It's going to always be a problem. Joseph was, watch this people of God. Joseph was caused by his brothers. His own bloodlines. They came from the same scrotum. Yeah, I said it. They came from the same penis, the same scrotum, the same daddy, the same bloodline. Joseph brothers had a problem with him. For no reason at all. Because he was his father's favorite. You the one that's watching this video. People not going to like you. Why? Because you are favored by God. I need somebody to comment below that I am favored by God. You know what? I'm going to read that to y'all. Because a lot of people, they don't open their Bible. Is it Genesis? Genesis 37 and 3. Hold on. Baby, let me read that to y'all. I want you to comment below I'm favored by God as I read Genesis 37 and 3. Because I got to break this thing down for you. Genesis 37 and 3. Watch this, people of God. Then I got to give a little bit of word for people who, uh, 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 you know, they so holy. You got to put a few scriptures in there. You can't just break it down for them. Genesis 37 and 3. Watch this. It said, Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other sons because he was a child of his old age. Jo Listen. Israel loved Joseph so much. Why? Because he was an old man and was still able to, to make babies. He thought he was shooting blanks. He thought he couldn't have kids no more. So you know what I'm saying? I, I believe personally, the Bible don't say this, but y'all know I'm a little ghetto. I'm a little hood when I'm reading the Bible. I got to make it make sense in my mind to get it right. So for some other people who hood like me, in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, Joseph was an old, I mean, Israel was an older man, and baby, once he was able to see, dang, I'm old, but you know what I mean? My, 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 you know, my, my little shooter's still working. He favored that child because he was so happy. He was still make, um, able to make babies at an older age. Let that sink in too for somebody who's older and don't think they ever going to be able to have a child. Baby, God still can do it. I want somebody to comment below. God still can do it. Watch this. In Genesis 37 and 3, it said, Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other sons because he was a child of his old age. Watch this. And he made him an elaborately, a, he made him a embroidered coat. Because he was his, his, his daddy's favorite baby, he made him a nice coat. 
It don't say if the coat was Gucci. It don't say if it was Prada. It don't say if it was Fendi. But baby, that thing was nice. It was it was nice. It could have been Louis Vuitton. I don't know. But whatever it was, baby, when he when his daddy made him that coat, people got jealous. People with his same last name. All his brothers had a problem with it. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm talking to some people who your family don't like you right now. I'm talking to some people who, baby, y'all go to the family reunion together and it's a problem every time you and your children pull up. The Bible say his father made him a coat. Watch this. And then it say when his brothers realized that their father loved him more than they grew to hate him and they wouldn't even speak to him. People got a problem with you. Don't even want to speak to you just because you are God's favorite. Just because God been blessing you with a new home, a new car. Just because God been favoring you with a new job and a new business. Just because God been putting genuine people next to you to uplift you. People got a problem. But tonight's message, if you are just now tuning in, is either way, they ain't going to like you. It talked about that also with Jesus in Matthew chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. Hold on, because I just want to show you why people got a problem with you. If they did it to Jesus, you don't think they're going to have a, a, a problem with you? Watch this. Matthew chapter 3, verse 16 and 17 said, The moment Jesus came up and out. Hold on. Watch this. It says, The moment Jesus came up and out the baptism water, the skies opened up and he saw God's spirit. It looked like a dove descending and landing on him. And along with that spirit, a voice. God said, this is my son, chosen and marked by my love. People gonna have a problem with you because you was chosen. Jesus ain't do nothing wrong with nobody to nobody. He just was chosen. They gonna have a problem because you was chosen to be manager on the job. They gonna have a problem because people choose to give give to you. They gonna have a problem because even though they talk about you like a dog, people uh they wanna be around you because they love your spirit. You was chosen. And because you chose it, it's going to always be a problem. But watch this. In John 1 and 11, it also says, watch this. And he came to his own, meaning Jesus went around his own people. People who should have had his back. It says, watch this. And he came to his own, but his, whole, his own did not receive him. Some of you, the people in your neighborhood, should be supporting you more. Some of you, the people that you love, should be supporting you more. Some of you, the people you connected to, should be supporting you more, but that ain't the case. Why? Because either way, they ain't going to like you. People who should have your back, not going to have your back. They ain't going to acknowledge you. They ain't going to respect you. They ain't going to support you. Why? Because you are favored by God. Why? Because you are chosen. So God is telling you, either way, they're going to have a problem. Either way, they not going to like you. For no reason at all. It was the same thing with Cain and Abel in the Bible. Cain got a problem with Abel. Why people of God? Because God wanted his sacrifice more. God loved Abel's sacrifice more. And because of that, why? God, um, 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 Cain killed his brother. Cain killed his own brother. Just because God loved him more. People of God. I just want you to know. Either way. They're going to have a problem with you. They're going to have a problem with you because you are a magnet for messiness. You are a magnet for murderers. You are a magnet for malicious people. You are a magnet. Why? Because your success will upset their spirit. The fact that you are chosen, the fact that you are favored, the fact that every time you lose, you can lose it all and gain it all back again. The fact that you bounce back like never before. The fact that you still got faith, the fact that you got a prayer life, the fact that you trust God, the fact that you decided to, to separate yourself to get you together. Do you know that? People have a problem because you say right now, I can't talk. I can't hang out. I can't kick it the way I used to because I'm trying to get me together. God say either way, they not going to like you. People will even be mad that you preach good. People will be mad. Listen, I'm telling you some real stuff. Because you got ideas. Because you good with your hands. They only good at doing hair, but you good at doing hair and cooking cakes. And you good at washing cars. You good at changing tires. Baby, and you a woman. Mad. 
mad with you because God bless you to do multiple things. You can wash cars and you can open up trucking companies and, and, and you can get out there and cook the best barbecue reels, bro. They got a problem with you because of that homeboy. I can't help it because I'm blessed. I want everybody to come in that blow. That below, I can't help it because I'm blessed. But whatever you do in this season, do not respond. Oh my, my God. I need you to comment that below. Do not respond. I don't know who this message is for. Come on, I need you to comment that below. I know you got a problem with me, but I can't, Jesus, I can't respond in this season. I need you to comment that below. Come on, come on, very quickly. Come on, if you got an iPhone right now, if I can get you to get screen recorded in about 10 seconds as I count down, because I love uh, when, when people screen record, they start sending that thing through Messenger, send it on Instagram, make it TikTok, it do all kinds of things, and we're able to get the message out for people who don't have Facebook. So I'm going to count from 10 down to 1, and if you have screen record, iPhone screen record, I want you to screen record what I'm about to say for the next minute, and please send it to me in my inbox too, because I pass it to others too. Watch this, people of God. We're going to count down. 10, 9, 8. Come on, get your screen record ready. Seven, six, five. Come on, push a little bit. Four, three. Get ready to screen record. Two, one. Hey, you. Yes, you, the one that's watching this video. God said, either way, they're not going to like you. People going to always have a problem with you because you are chosen and you are favored by God. It's nothing that you did wrong. It's the fact that it's your time to shine. It's nothing that you did wrong. It's the fact that you're deciding to separate yourself to get you together. People got a problem because you're deciding to step up and step out. You can be in a circle full of broke people. And just because you don't want to be broke no more and want to start that business, you have wolves in sheep clothing. God said that in this season, don't pay, a don't pay attention to people who watch this. Don't clap when you win. But pay attention to people who are clapping when you win it because people don't mean you well. In this season, stop letting people get close enough to bite you. If God showed you it's a snake, there's no reason it should be able to get up on you and bite you again. Either way, they're going to have a problem with you because you're favored by God. Stop worrying about why they don't like you. Stop trying to chase down every lie told on you. Stop trying to figure out what you did wrong. If God is pulling them out of your life in this season, let them go. Why? Because either way, they're going to have a problem. Why? Because your success interrupts their spirit. Don't respond with a status. Don't respond by going off. Don't respond by picking up the phone and telling them you ain't nothing to play with. Respond with your success. Because you are favored in this season. So whether you're doing a good or bad, either way they're going to always have a problem. I want you to keep on pushing. Kill them with your success. Don't worry about why they don't favor you. Don't worry about they separate why they separated um, from you. People gonna have a problem because you choose to not be out hoeing anymore. All that hot girl summer season, baby, it's over. I'm trying to get wiped up. I don't know who this message is for, but watch what I tell you. The minute you decide to do something different and don't hang out with the same crew anymore, it's gonna always be a problem. But in 2022, you gotta get to a place where you say, I don't care. My success is more important. My future is more important. Me becoming something great is more important. Why? Because I'm going hard for my children. Why? Because I'm going hard for my business. All 2022, you don't have time to respond. You respond with your success. Why? Because your success will interrupt their spirit every single time. So God told me to come tell you, the one that's watching this video, the reason they got a problem with you it's because either, even though they're slandering your name, people still love your spirit. They can't understand why they're doing everything possible to bring you down, but people still want to be connected to you. It's because of your success. They got a problem with the fact that you shake back every time. A real hustler can lose it all and gain it back again. I just want you to keep on pushing because God favors you. Listen, people of God. You are just now tuning in. Tonight's message was either way, they ain't going to like you. I pray that this message bless somebody on here on tonight. Um, Before I get off, I want to give you an opportunity to sow. It's very simple on tonight. Tonight's seed is going to be $20. I don't want you to sow unless God is telling you to sow. 
Some of you are going to sow $20. Some of you are going to sow $120. Some of you people of God are going to sow $1,200. And the reason being, watch this, is it's because of the simple fact, this is going to bless your whole spirit, that watch this, it's been haters around you for no reason at all. Secret haters. Y'all too busy watching out for people. Watch this, people of God. Who, 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 gonna, gonna expose themselves and show you they don't like you. That is not the way the devil is sending them in this season. This is why you keep getting bit by snakes. That's not the way the devil's sending them. The devil is sending them to be there. Watch this. Calling you sis and bruh. The devil is sending them. Watch this, people of God. To be around you saying they love you. This message ain't for everybody, but it's for some people with some secret haters. The information is to the bottom to sow. My phone is already vibrating. People are sowing. I feel the phone vibrating. I want you to pray before you sow a seed, and I want you to put in the memo section either way. That means, baby, I'm content with you not liking me because what you really about not to like is my success. I'm content with you not liking me because what's really finna blow your mind is what God is finna do for me next. Either way, I'm okay with you feeling some type of way. Because what God is about to do in my life, even next, I ain't going to be able to stand myself. <laughs> Baby, you can't stand me. But I ain't going to even be able to can't stand. I'm going be, to barely be able to stand myself. Because I'm about to be shocked at what God is about to do for me next. Do you get what I'm saying? I prophesied over a lot of people. I put some in the atmosphere that we are in the month of July. That by the end of 2022, it shall happen. And because it's happening, some of you have been a magnet to all kind of drama, all kind of negativity. People attacking you for no reason at all. The enemy coming against your finances, coming against your relationship because you are a magnet for success. People going to always have a problem, but you got to respond with your success. It's sad that some of y'all got to stun on people you in love with. Oh my God. I don't know who that was for. I'm going to back that up and I'm going to say that thing again. It's sad that some of you finna have to stunt, finna have to show out on people that you are in love with. Because it's the people closest to you that you got to watch. God say you looking for it the wrong way. It's not coming in the way of, I got to watch the people who don't clap when I win. No, sis. No, bro. Now you got to watch the people who clap when you win. Them the ones praying on you. Them the ones putting the voodoo people on you. Them the ones trying to slaughter you and slander you behind your back. Pay attention. You got to watch it. Cash out. Chime. Zelle. PayPal. Vimo is the number pinned below. 754-246-0580. The seed amount tonight is $20. Some of you are going to sow $40 because you say, I got to sow double. I got to sow for me and somebody else. It's $20, $120, $1,200. Some of you need to sow $20 and 20 cent. Some of you need to be $120 and 20 cent. But I, but you watch God work. You watch God show up on your behalf in front of the same people who tried to knock you down. Come on. I want to challenge you to sow. And I want you to put in the memo section when you sow. Either way, if you're sewing cash app, you have to put the whole phone number in 754-246-0580 until Dr. Shakira M pop up because there are fake cash apps out there. Some of you, you don't have none of those ways to sew. So you need me to send you an invoice. You can text send invoice with the amount in your email to 754 246 0580 and I'll send an invoice through your email to pay with your card. Trust God. I dare you to trust him. Some of you, you in battles because of your enemies and you think the people who are your enemies is your enemies and that's not your enemy. Your enemy is that person connected to you that you love. There's no way that God should be showing you people around you that are fake. Showing you people around you that are, watch this, snakes. And you still let them get close enough to bite. He shouldn't be exposing wolves in sheep clothing. And you still let them in your circle close enough to devour you. How is that possible? Enough playing in this season. And as you begin to sow, I want you to comment below. I sold. The seed amount tonight is $20. $120. $1,220. I want you to sow in increments of 20 on tonight. You better put a number 20 in there somewhere. Watch God work. 
Some of you say, Brandon, I need to sell 240 Because I need to sell $120 for me and $120 for my husband. They've been hating on my relationship. I dare you to pray about it. You ain't got to sow. Ask God, should, should you sow? Before you sow, there are things you need in God to do. You've been the talk of, a, of the town. You, you've been made to be looked like the fool for a long time. And you say, I'm ready to come up out of it. They're going to always have a problem with you. I just want you to comment below. I showed because I'm getting ready to pray over every seed. They're going to always have a problem with you. I'm sorry it's glitching because it's a lot of people sewing right now. They're going to always have a problem with you either way. And the reason they're going to always have a problem with you is because you anointed. Your success is about to interrupt their spirit. I apologize for the glitching, you guys. It's glitching because there's a, there's a lot of people sewing. Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, Vimo. The number is 754-246-0580. If you're sewing via Zelle, Gum Ministries is going to pop up. G-U-M Ministries, for God use me. Remember, in the memo section, you're going to put either way. Either way. Either way. If you, if you, Netta, if you guys need an invoice, you're going to text the number you see at the bottom, 754-246-0580 invoice. Just text the word invoice to that number. And when you do that, I'll text you back after I get off live. Follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFadden. I upload every video there. So if you are uh, have a family member and you want to show them this video, you can send them the YouTube link. Just type in Shakira McFadden. All of my live videos are there. Follow me on Instagram at evangelist.shakira. I only have one Instagram. All the others are fake. Follow me on TikTok at evangelist Shakira. If you screen recorded the section I told you to on tonight, please send it to my inbox. Either way, they're going to have a problem. Because you are anointed. Stop chasing down every lie in this season. People tell you. Stop chasing down every lie people say on you in this season. You busy trying to prove yourself. Why? You ain't got to do that. Interrupt that spirit with your success. Do not respond to your haters in this season. You got to get quiet and show up and show out. I see the woman of God say she sold $10.20. Some people going to, they, they, they're going to sell what they got. God know your heart. Some people, y'all tag 20 people. Some people, y'all tag 20 people. And by tagging 20 people, that's all you can do. God know your heart. God is up to something in this season. Some of you sold from your heart. Some of you, you had to put a seed in the ground. Either way, they ain't going to like you. And God is going to bless you. Lord, bless every seed that was sown on tonight. Allow it to come back a thousandfold. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless every person who had the intentions to give. This word was for them, but they didn't have it. God, allow them to sow from their heart. God, you know who needs to sow and who shouldn't sow. God, we ask that you just continuously move in all of their lives. We ask that you put a muzzle on their haters and that you break the back of every demonic force coming after them. Jesus, show up and show out like never before. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, people of God, one more time. It's Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, and Vimo. If it's Cash App, put in the whole phone number. So Dr. Shakira M could pop up for Zelle. It'll say gum. Ministries. It's the same name, phone number for every way to sew. If you need me to send you a invoice, text 754-246-0580. Listen, before you guys jump off, I do have a class coming up called Sis, Get Your Identity Back. And in this class, we talk about realness. It's four classes, people of God. With these four classes, is every Wednesday night from 8 to 9.30. You get a certificate at the end. It's only once a week for four weeks. We building women up. Me and Prophetess Natasha, I only have 50 spots available. People of God, the first payment is due July 15th. Listen to me. The class is $250, but I broke it up in payments where you pay $50 a week. Every week it's $50 until your class is paid off. Watch this, people of God. Women, your life will never be the same. Never be the same. It's virtual. It's online. We'll be talking about toxic relationships, being a super mom, learning to say no, 
all kind of deep stuff that we need to discuss. Dealing with a broken heart, becoming a boss. The flyer is on my page. If you want the information to sign up for my class, text 754-246-0580 and put class. And I'll send you the information for that. I love you too, Rihanna and Mary Jane. God bless you guys. I love you guys. Turn on, hit the follow button. Turn on your notifications. Hit follow, then click on favorite. It will let you know every time I'm live. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Take time. Take, take care. Remember, either way.